Step one, setting the floor slope. Lower the optical head to about 12 inches off the floor. Level optical head by rotating eccentric wheel at rear base until level vial registers level. Place the laser in position on top of the optical head and turn laser on. At the center of front wheels of vehicle, measure the distance from the floor to where the laser strikes the measuring device. At the center of rear wheel of vehicle, measure the point where the laser strikes the measuring device. If the measurements are not the same, the floor has a slope and adjustments are needed. Rotate the floor slope handle on the eccentric wheel left or right until laser strikes the measuring device at the same heights as it did at the front wheel. Move to the center of the front wheel and measure the point where the laser strikes the measuring device. If both front and rear wheel measurements are the same, record the position of the eccentric wheel. If measurements at the front and rear wheels are not the same, note the front wheel measurement. Move to the center of rear wheel and rotate the eccentric wheel so laser strikes the measuring device at the same height as the front wheel measurement. Then measure the height of the laser at the front wheel again. Repeat this process until both front and rear wheel measurements are the same. When both measurements are the same, make note of the floor slope number of this bay. Turn off the laser and store in a safe place. Step 2. Headlamp alignment. Turn the sighting unit until you can see the front edge of the optical head through the sight lens. If the line on lens does not line up with front edge of optical head, loosen thumb screws and align lens. Tighten thumb screws. Position the SCA-1 approximately 12 inches in front of the headlamp to be aligned. Set the floor slope to the proper setting for the current bay. Align SCA-1 to vehicle using a sight window and two common points on the vehicle. Turn on the headlamps and move optical head up down, left and right until the light is somewhat centered on the optical head lens. Adjust the headlamp until the pattern on the ISO screen is in proper position. Proper position is centering the most inner area of color over the appropriate white dot of low beam or high beam. Repeat the alignment process for the next headlamp to be aligned.